going to show you how you can set up your first bunch of project. First, we're going to download all the resources we need. So we're going to the Cake PHP website and download the latest stable release. We're also going to the Sencha website and download either the latest XJS or Sencha Touch 2 um, package. For this presentation, we're going to use XJS. Keep in mind that you might have to buy a license to use uh, XJS on a commercial product. Since we're going with an open source version, we can download the free version here. And we are also going to the Venture website and download the latest release here. Okay. Once everything has downloaded, we are going to unpack all of the projects. Okay, and we are going to give the cake PHP project a nice name. Next thing we have to do is we have to configure our local server. If you're on a Mac, you probably are using MUMP. If you're on Windows, you probably use XAMPP. It works quite the same. You're going to the settings, and here under Apache, you can define the document route. Here we're going to define, look for our project, which we just downloaded here and go inside app wrap root and define this as new wrap root and we have to keep the apache port in mind we start start it and open the website so we're going to localhost and the port we just saw and we should see a cake php welcome screen okay perfect so these are some production things for security which we can find information on kphp side we don't need them right now but here is important part we haven't configured our database yet so we're going to open our project inside um, our editor and go under app config database here we are renaming to database.php and we're going to define our username and password for mysql along with the database name and for mac versions you have to define a unix socket to work properly with mum Okay, we save that and now open the site again and we can see that it can connect to the database. Perfect. The next thing we're going to do is to add Buncher. So this is the downloaded um, folder we got for, from the Buncher project and we're copying that into app plugin. And let's go to the installation, this installation description. Okay, here we can find the installation. Okay, so the first thing we have to do is to copy this line and add it in our bootstrap at the bottom. This will include our Buncher project into the Cake project. Um, for production use, it's also a good idea to copy this bit, which will cache all the, the requests to the, about how the database looks, which we'll add here at the end of the core. PHP. Perfect. Now we can make the first check which what already works and we're going here to buncher and setup check. 
Okay, so Pancho is now telling us that we have an error here. We haven't we have forgot to copy the the bunch of dispatcher. So now we're going in plugin buncher underscore app webroot and copy this file into the main webroot. And yeah, now everything works perfect. Okay, finally we have to use our downloaded um, X package. So we're going to unpack it. We're going to copy the, the JavaScript versions. You might only want to copy one of them into our webroot JS folder. And we're also getting the CSS files from so we're copying this folder, whole folder, inside webroot CSS. Okay. That was it for the basic setup for working with Puncher.